Hey, how's it going everybody? Tim here, the Frugal Travel Guru, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking once again about the Amtrak train, and we're going to be discussing your food options when you're traveling on Amtrak. If you're going to be on Amtrak uh, for a while, say you've got a trip and it's, you know, anything over like 16 hours, it might be a day, a couple days, three days, you're probably going to be a little concerned about food, what you're going to eat, what, what food do you need to bring, what food and drink are you allowed to bring. So in today's video, we're going to break all that down. So the good news is there is food available for you to purchase on the train. If you don't want to bring any food at all, you don't have to. I typically, when I ride on Amtrak, don't bring any food with me. Or I might bring a couple snacks. But typically, I don't bring any food. I just eat the food on the train. So you have a couple different options when it comes to food. Uh, there's a dining car where they serve three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And basically, you put in a reservation. They call your reservation. You go in there. You sit down. You eat. Now, if you have spent you know a little extra money, if you've balled out, and you are like, uh, instead of renting like a seat, uh, purchasing a seat, excuse me, you purchase like a sleeper car or something like that, meals are included, uh, which is good because those, those prices are a little steep. So you, really, you need to get something included. So if, if you, you're not going to have to pay if you're in like a sleeper car or something like that. Your meals from the dining room are included, from the dining car are included. However, if you're like me and you typically ride coach or occasionally you ride business if you can find a deal, which is possible. You can't find deals in business class. I highly recommend shopping around for you buy your ticket. This business class is awesome. Um, your meals are not included if you're in coach or business class. So if you want to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner in the dining car, you're going to have to pay. And from what I hear, the prices are pretty steep. Like I've never been in the dining car because I already know I'm not trying to spend that kind of money. So the other option, if you don't want to eat in the dining car and the dining car meals aren't included in your ticket, is the cafe car. Most of the trains will have a cafe car. I think I've been on one that didn't, uh, but most of the trains will have a cafe car. And basically, it's just kind of like a little small uh, convenience store. So they have chips, uh, you know, they have soda, they have beer, which is pretty cool. Uh, they have bottled water. Um, they have like microwavable sandwiches, uh, honey buns, uh, all that little kind of fast food stuff you might expect, um, you know, candy bars, things like that. I will say too, once again, that even the cafe car is a little pricey. Uh, I think last time I rode on the Amtrak, I got a hamburger and a beer and it was like 14 bucks. So, you know, just keep that in mind that the microwavable hamburger about this big was like six bucks and the beer was like seven bucks. Um, so just kind of keep it, keep in mind that the food is not cheap. But if you, you know, if you're feeling like riding the Amtrak and, and you got a little money to throw around, and you don't want to bring any food because you don't have room in your suitcases, uh, you won't starve if you got some cash. Uh, but just keep in mind, you're going to have to put some cash out there to get any type of meal on the Amtrak. I will admit I don't eat that well on the Amtrak. Uh, for breakfast, I might get like a coffee and a honey bun. For lunch, I might get a hamburger and, a, and you know, a soda and, you know, some chips and dinner probably the same thing. So I, I don't eat very well on the Amtrak when it comes to like healthy, but it's fine with me. I, I don't I have no complaints. Um, so if you're a person who's very concerned about like cost or kind of like eating healthy, uh, maybe you'll want to bring your own food. And you are allowed to bring your own food. You can bring your food, um, pull it out your bag, sit right there in your seat, eat it. Or you can go to like the observation car, eat there. Um, if you purchase food in the cafe car, you're allowed to take it back to your seat and eat it. You don't have to stay there. Um, pretty much anywhere on the train you can eat. So yeah, you can bring your own food, whatever you want. Um, I, I always recommend when I'm talking to people about traveling and bringing their own food, don't bring nothing crazy that's going to stink and have people looking at you funny. Um, just just bring simple food. Keep in mind you're on a moving uh, you know, train. So you know, don't bring elaborate spreads that might fall off and hit the floor. And you have to, you know, hope the five second rule applies so you can still eat it. Uh, I recommend, you know, burgers, snack food, things like that, uh, trail mix, chips, uh, you know, water. Definitely bring some water. Um, even if you don't bring your, your own food, I recommend bringing water or whatever drink, beverage you prefer. You can't bring alcoholic, your own alcoholic beverages on the train unless you're in like a sleeper car. Uh, so if you're, just, if you're just sitting in a regular seat, you can't bring alcoholic beverages. They will come around and check. 
So don't be trying to sit and, and coach uh, with your own six pack of Budweiser, you know, getting it in, uh, getting wasted. You can't, you can't do that. Uh, you can only buy beer from them. But any other beverage, feel free to bring whatever you want. And that is probably the better option. Um, just kind of plan ahead, have enough room in your suitcase. Uh, at a lot of the stations, the bigger stations, they will have, you know, little convenience stores in them, uh, Subway, uh, McDonald's, it just depends on the Amtrak station you're leaving from. But a lot of the bigger ones will have some type of food places. If you want to, you know, before you hop on the train, run into the Mickey D's and grab, you know, like eight McChickens or something. However you get down food wise, that's an option as well. Um, you know, and, and of course, any layover, if you have a long trip and you have layovers uh, that are, you know, a couple hours or more, we're going to have to switch trains. That's a, a, an option you can, when you're at your layover, run and get something to eat if you don't finish it bring it back on the train that's typically kind of what i do i eat on the train and then i kind of schedule it so when i have a layover uh, i'll get a big meal there so those are your food options on the amtrak train uh i i, I really like amtrak's food options probably better than anyone else um uh, and it's not just because they have beer because i stopped drinking again but um <laughs> it is uh, i just do the cafe car it just kind of really works for me because they have you know a decent selection, a little pricey like I said, but you're not going to starve on the Amtrak train. Anyway, I'm Tim the Frugal Travel Guru. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative. Any other Amtrak questions you may have, please leave them in the comment box below. I will try to answer them for you ASAP. Uh, or you can hit me up on social medias. We can chat on there. I love chatting to people on like Instagram. So feel free to message me about Amtrak, Greyhound, Delta. Uh, or any other frugal travel question you might have. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.